In today's episode of the Python Presents podcast, I got a very interesting guest here with me today. I'm with Erica Crossfield, and she's hailing over as a senior brand manager over at the folks at Smart Carrot. And Smart Carrot is a player in a very interesting market. Uh, we're talking about customer success here, intelligent customer success platforms where you guys can onboard, engage, retain, and grow your client base. And I mean, it's becoming more and more apparent that this role is becoming more impactful by the day. Um, and we really want to make sure to cover really what Smart Carrot is doing and to learn how Erica is thinking about growth for the brand. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Of course, yeah. Um, maybe give us a quick uh, insight. You know, uh, what is Smart Carrot all about in your own words? Yeah, so Smart Carrot was founded in 2018. As you said, we're a customer success platform. And our goal is to help B2B companies um, retain and grow their existing accounts. Um, so up until this point, we've been focusing on creating an intelligent and democratized platform um, where not only customer success, but also sales, marketing, product, and um, finance can all work together to improve their customers' overall lifetime value and increase the business's um, net recurring revenue. Um, yeah, and so we are a platform. We have a lot of smart features, um, but our goal at the end of the day is to help um, make customer success a company-wide initiative that fosters collaboration and growth. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, that makes sense. Now, um, if um, we would talk about the types of companies, you know, what, what types of companies fit the best? Would that be software companies? Is it services companies as well? Like maybe tell us a bit more who would benefit most from Smart Carrot? Yeah, I mean, product or services or a hybrid of the two, um, specifically um, multi-product, multi-business unit, B2B businesses that are um, looking to rapidly grow their revenue. Um, mm -hmm. So typically more established, um, large or small companies, but um, people with a lot of different types of data that uh, need to make sense of it all and need to kind of accelerate their post sales customer journey toward um, growth. That makes sense. Very good. Now, um, who would you say within these organizations would be the decision maker? Is that already like a sort of a customer success lead? Who yeah. Who would bring that in or? Yeah. yeah, some companies have a customer success lead, but we're actually finding, um, Customer success, like you said, is relatively new. So not everybody even has a customer success department. Mm -hmm. um, so our buyer can be anyone in the C-suite, uh, CRO, CIO. Um, some companies have a customer, a chief customer success officer, some don't. Um, so we try to make sure that we, whoever we're talking to, we speak their language and, um, without diluting our key messages. Um, but because it's so new, there is a bit of a learning curve um, mm -hmm. with some companies. And again, small and large companies that, um, you know, the customer success functions might be, um, or the responsibilities might be falling on account managers right now. Okay. So we're basically that's kind of led us to double down on being a partner as opposed to just a platform. Um, so we try to provide a, a holistic approach to customer success. Mm -hmm. That okay. makes makes a lot of sense. Now, how would you say do people learn about smart, smart carrot these days? Like what would be sort of their journey that they're going through? What channels are you guys exploring? We, we put a lot of energy into our blog um, and, and then, those posts get posted on LinkedIn. Um, and essentially we're trying to help the practitioners and the C-suite um, kind of evolve their strategies and get aligned to growth across their organization. Um, but then also review sites like Captera and G2. Um, we're finding a lot of customers come to Smart Carrot after they've kind of plateaued with their own solution. So they could already be using a customer success platform, or they might have a bunch of customizations on Salesforce that just aren't working anymore. Um, and they know they need something more. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're also just building connections in the CS community. There's a lot of passionate people um, out there and they, because it's such a new world, uh, they're, they're sharing new ideas, new strategies. And so we try to amplify those voices. Um, some with larger followings than others. And uh, we're finding a lot of folks actually find us through those conversations. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Now, what role do you think then the website plays in their virus journey? Like, how do you, how do you think about what, 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 and what part does it play in their journey? Yeah, the website, um, I think is continuously evolving. Um, I think people will inevitably end up on your website no matter how they hear about you the one of the first things they're going to do is look at your website if something doesn't sit right with them they'll leave right I have a background in design and that's you know apart from the messaging the visuals overall are are super important um and I think it's the easiest way for somebody to get more information um and you know see the product for themselves um yeah and and, but i would say review sites as well are are super important um relying on other people's feedback is uh is key to making a decision okay makes sense now um you, you mentioned the visuals on the website. You know, every marketer that, that we had on the show, they're always somewhat critical on their own website, right? There's always something to improve. Where do you see sort of a strength of the website versus where do you see maybe room for further improvement? Um, well, I mean, as the product grows um, and as we build more tools, we're actually kind of seeing our, our ICP shift a little bit, right? So when we initially launched, we were talking directly to those customer success managers that they just want to prevent churn and, you know, make their boss happy. But but now we're talking to the CEOs. So the messaging is completely different. Um, you know, I could see our website looking completely different on in October of 2023 than it does in October of 2022. Mm-hmm. And that's because we're constantly learning um, about our, our customers and what they need. Um, so the visuals are part of that, right? That makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious, right? I mean, you've, you're obviously now a brand manager. Maybe, you know, um, can you break that down? Like what would be sort of the major streams of work that the brand manager would work on in Smart Carrot? Just to give, give people a feel is that you mentioned the visuals a couple of times. Is there, um, you know, what, what else makes brand work in, in your understanding? Yeah, so I, I think of myself as kind of somebody that helps tie it all together, right? And um, we're a remote company, so our our team is all over the world. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to connect marketing and sales and product as much as possible and speaking in one cohesive language across the three. Um, and then kind of helping give insights. Um, so that's in between the different departments. So that's internally what it is, but also making sure that that message gets out to the general population as well. Um, We have a lot of smart people on our team. So I'm trying to take all of their ideas and everything that they're working on and understanding about um, our world and making it make sense to everyone else. And yeah, that's through visuals, that's through how we talk about ourselves, how we explain what our product does um everything so i yeah I, I like to think i tie everything together very cool um now as we talked about a uh, sort of you know the, the product a bit the channels a little bit um i would love to get to know you as a brand manager a little bit better i've got some rapid fire questions at the end to just get to know you and your journey a little bit are you ready for those yeah let's do it what is the last book that you read i'm in the middle of building a story brand by donald miller Nice. So it's, it's been a good one so far. Yep. What's one single thing that your company is focused on the most at the moment? 
expansion revenue <laughs> and uh, helping our customers grow their their um, business. If there would be no boundaries in tech, what would be the one thing that you would fix for your role in brand? Like what's one thing you got a magic wand that you would fix? Ooh, if I could just be a mind reader and know <laughs> exactly what what our customers need at all time, that would uh, that would be great. Very cool. And for the very last question, I'd love to sort of jump back in time a little bit. Let's go back to the Art Institute of Vancouver, right? You're heading out of that formal education. Now, um, in your work as a designer, as a, as a graphic designer, as well as visual designer and now brand manager, what's the one advice that you would give yourself heading out of formal education? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I went to school. I was like, I like to make things look nice. So I guess graphic design is is where I should go. But um, I very quickly realized that um, it's it's to be successful in any role. It's about listening to the people that know better than you. Um, so I've I've really you know, even though I've been on the design end of things, I've worked closely with marketing teams um, over the years and, you know, been in the room with executives as much as possible to really understand how they think. And I think um, making sure that you have that business sense, no matter what your your output of work is, um, understanding business goals and, and things like that are, that's super, it's been super helpful for me. Very cool. Um, Erica, um, that's been very interesting to figure out more with you about Smart Carrot. I want to give you the very last word. If somebody would be forgetting all that we discussed about Smart Carrot, Smart Carrot today, what's the one thing that people should remember? Um, I think the one thing is that uh, Smart Carrot is playing kind of a new game of customer success. Um, we think intelligence and expansion is huge. And um, we want to be the partner that helps you get there. And we just look forward to hearing from anyone. Thanks a lot for being a guest on Platform Presents. Thank you.